Hi friends, happy Saturday. This is Jana. Thanks for coming back to my channel or if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, I am here with my fourth episode for 2024 of Saturday Morning Makes and that is hosted by Jill Norwood here on YouTube. I will put the link to her channel in the description box below and also the information about Saturday Morning Makes. I am also participating, well, so it's the hashtag SatMornMakes. I am also participating in hashtag Valloween, and that is hosted by Nancy May uh, here on YouTube, and her channel is Handy Scandy's Crafty Venture. And I am participating in Gingerbread of February, um, and that's also a hashtag. And that is hosted by Tina of Crafty Bean. I'll put the links to their channels below as well. Okay, so I was excited about, well, both of these um, new hashtags. But Valloween, I have all these stamps by Stampotique. If you've never um, taken a look at Stampotique's um website you should go take a peek um they have really cool stamps they're not in they're not all in the style that i'm about to show you <laughs> so don't get scared off by that um but the artist um that created the stamps i use today is daniel uh torrente i think that's how you say his name and so th these stamps don't have names but there's this little guy that I used. I used this one. And this one. And this angel. Yes, it's an angel. <laughs> I also used this Happy Valentine's Day greeting that's been in my stash forever. This one is by Annette Watkins, not of Stampotique. I don't know. It, that's just the only name on the stamp, and it's been well-loved by me, as you can tell, but it's still in really great condition, and like I said, I've had it forever. So those were the stamps I used. Um, I also used these fun products, which are around no more, which is really sad. I have these in quite a few colors. Um, these were from Fun Stampers Journey. The company's not uh, in business any longer. I used the sparkle silk color and the black licorice. I got a little bit inky and a little bit, um, oh, mixed media, just a little bit. Um, I used a greeting from Tim Holtz's sticker book, Curiosities. I used this stencil by thecraftersworkshop.com. And let's see, does it have a name? Mini Confetti. I used a couple of the stamps from Stampers Anonymous. This is also by Tim Holtz. This is classic number six. And from Dilusions, I used um, one of these heart ones. I think this one, I don't remember for sure. But this is called In Betweenies right here. And I think that is about the most of it. Let me show you my card. So again, this is for Halloween. I love, love, love how this turned out. I had so much fun making this and doing all the background um, stuff in the back there. First, I ink blended with my um, Distress inks. And then I did um, some stamping. And then I did, well, I think maybe before I stamped, I might have done the stenciling, which is all this red here. 
Uh, what else? And the if you can see, let me kind of tilt this around. There, you can kind of see the sparkle. The these things that I used. The more just sparkly one is the shimmer silk, where the black sparkly dots are the black um, licorice ones. I popped up the angel. I considered going back and putting some stickles on her wings. But I decided that it didn't need any more sparkle, really. And because these little characters are kind of grungy and weird, I didn't want to glitter her up. So the greeting that I used is, You are the dearest to my heart. And then inside I just put that Happy Valentine's Day. I get a kick out of these kinds of things. I love how... He's got on kind of a straight jacket, but he's got his little heart tucked in there, and they they just happen to have hearts on their shirts, which always cracks me up. <laughs> These little monster children, I gave them all kind of, this guy doesn't have any hair yet, but he does have a little orange halo from some red hair, and because we, our boys um, both uh redheads and um we have redhead grandchildren <laughs> not all of them but two of them and uh, a lot of um my I've got a couple sisters that have red hair there's red hair on my husband's side of the family so there's just a lot of redheads so I decided to make them redheads anyway I think it turned out pretty funny I just love it so that is my Valloween. Okay, so now for my gingerbread. I used um, this snow marker to do the frosting on my gingerbread. I used some pink chalk for the cheeks. I used this bow die set from my Creative Time, and it's called Mini Bow Dies. I used... Um, this stamp and die set also from my creative time so this is called love you most the stamp set it's really in tiny writing right there i don't know if you can see it and then the coordinating die set i can't remember if these come together maybe they do because it looks like they were stapled uh yeah love you most so they might come together not sure and then I used this cute edged, etched edge Z card, also from my creative time, this die set. And the this paper pad, also from my creative time, called Script Hearts and Solids. And it's a really nice, their papers are heavyweight, um, very nice cardstock papers. Okay, and I think that was all. Here's my cute little Valentine card. I debated whether I wanted to put this like on a bigger card and have this in the middle, but I just kind of think it's cute the size it is. It reminds me of the sizes of Valentines we used to hand out in school. So here's my little gingerbread, and I did the little frosting with that snow marker, and when you heat it, it puffs up. And it does have a little bow tie under there, but I decided I wanted to use the bow die set and make a sparkly little tie with a little more dimension. I did use a little white embellishment there for the button or the candy, whatever. Um... And I popped the ginger up, and I did put some pink chalk on his cheeks. And then it opens like this, and I put all you need is love and cookies. And that is from the gingerbread die set and the Happy Valentine's Day. So I think it turned out pretty cute. And this was, I think, the first time of me using this little um, card die set. So that was fun. So those are my two projects for this Saturday. I hope that you are having a great weekend. And be sure to go and check out what everybody else is creating by searching 
the hashtag Satmorn makes, and then you can also search those other two hashtags, Valloween and Gingerbread of February, to see what people are including on those. All right, thanks so much. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Take care, happy crafting. Bye-bye.